We side to it. Exactly. Watch out. Okay. I do sting bite. <laughs> here, here is my pumpkin. I've gone for a sort of a modernist design. Are you finished? I, th yeah, I have finished. It? Yeah, I finished. Yeah, okay. I, I like things simple, okay. neat, clean, no filigree, no detail, no decoration yes. necessary. It's very modern, so it's a, like a pumpkin casso or a, a pumpkin Mondrian. Yeah, Mondrian. Okay, Hands there we up. go. There Mondrian. We go. <laughs> okay, well, we still have part two of our road trip. That will be tomorrow, and that is where we'll go from our personality pumpkins to a poet that spoke to an entire landscape. Can't wait for that. We like a bit of poetry, we like mm -hmm. a bit of art, and we've got an artist in our midst now, a photographer who's been practicing here in New England for 20 years. Jeff Folger is also known as Jeff Foliage because his speciality is the trees. Jeff, hey. thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for Do having me. Do you mind if we dive straight into one of your photographs because we'd okay. like to see as many as possible here. Yep. Yep. Let's yep. make sure I get this one up the right way. So here we are. What about that? Beautiful reflection. Talk us through this one, Jeff. Well, this is the Beaver Pond and Kinsman Notch. Um, this is a, uh, a day when we had a lot of clouds and fog, and I was able to capture all of that and um, just a mirror smooth reflection. It's beautiful. So you're doubling up on the color because you've got it in the water as well as the trees, of yep. course. Yep. Let's take a look at the next one. This one's super as well, but it's slightly different. So this one up the right way. Right. Here yep. we go. So, same color, but here you've got an ancient farming artifact. I like getting vintage objects, things that take us back to our roots, back to our heritage, and at the same time I bring in all the fall colors. This one's Pomfret, Vermont, and it's just a gorgeous area of the country, very rural and just very friendly people. Okay, and the next one's a, a really good photo, I like this one very much indeed. Yep. So here, snow, the fall, and a train here yep. in the middle. This is the cog rail uh, coming down from Mount Washington. We tend to call this um, snowleage or snow and foliage mixed together. Snowage. Snowage. Yeah. <laughs> neat, neat. But this is a photograph that needs a bit of planning because obviously you need to know that the train is coming. Um, some might do that. This was kind of an accident. Was it? It was just coming down the hill and I was like, just there. Now these all look like very special spots and I hear that in the past photographers who were practicing here were mm -hmm. quite secretive about their locations. Yes, they didn't want to get out because they were selling their pictures around the country, postcards and everything. So uh, I like to go with the mantra that I want everybody to come to New England and really enjoy their time here. I want them to, you know, I want to tell them where are the iconic locations are. Okay, so where should they be going, say, if they're coming out in the next couple of weeks? Well, we're looking at, I would say, um, southern White Mountains into where we are in the Lakes region in New Hampshire, um, southern Maine, and I would say from the Green Mountains south over in uh, Vermont. Of course, weather plays a great role. I oh, mean, yeah. there are good and bad days to take yes. landscape photographs like this. Yeah, we just got done with rain and heavy winds on Tuesday, and that was not what we want to see. But, you know, first thing in the morning, last thing in the evening, golden yep. hour, as yes. we like to call it. Yes. And in terms of a choice of camera, I mean, we've got this magnificent old camera here. I presume you're not using this one at the moment. <laughs> no, this is my father's camera. Was it really? Yes, and it dates back to around between 1912 and 1920, a Kodak, and um, it was just something that's it stayed with us. Yeah. Wow. Wow, and this is your contemporary camera here. Yeah. But I've got to say, uh, most people go out with a camera, uh, you know, whether they know it or not these days, Jeff, because we've mm. all pretty much got one on our smartphones, and some of the cameras on the smartphones are actually pretty good quality. They're very good quality. Um, I use mine all the time when I'm out uh, using my digital SLR, and I use um, my mobile, and I can achieve wonderful results with these. It's mostly the person behind the camera that determines how good the picture is going to come out. Exactly. No camera ever took a photograph. It's the man with the imagination and creativity, and it's been yours today. Jeff, thanks ever so much for coming. Thank you. In. Sam. Yeah. I gotta tell you, my favorite photos are the ones that you just wanna walk right into because the foliage is so glorious and that is what New England is all about. But surprisingly, Chris, uh, this gift that has been given to us, our foliage, is a relatively new thing. I, I would have thought